The first week of a newborn's life is fragile and potentially deadly. A large proportion of childhood mortality is newborn mortality. And there's a lot that we don't know about uh, neonatal immunology. Researchers looked at two groups of them in different parts of the world. 60 babies, half from Gambia in West Africa, the other half from Papua New Guinea, were recruited. Researchers compared two tiny blood samples, less than one quarter of a teaspoon from each newborn, at birth and again later in the first week. What they saw were dramatic biological changes. Genes and immune cells were activated. Proteins were being produced. I don't think we really appreciated the staggering number of changes that are occurring. Bob Hancock's team at the University of British Columbia performed the blood work. They pioneered the technique that got so much data from such a small sample. We saw an increase um, in their ability to resist infections, which is the biggest threat to an infant during that first week of life. Without having a really good idea of what's normal for a baby in the first week of life, it's very difficult to design strategies to try to help these babies do better. But the research could give doctors new ways to protect newborns in those early days, including more specific testing done at birth to determine which baby may get sick. It could also provide clues on when babies should be vaccinated. We'd really like to know more about whether we can actually start doing those vaccinations even earlier in the infants to give them a better chance of fighting off the devastating diseases that vaccines protect against. Hoping to provide the most vulnerable with a fighting chance early on in their lives. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.